events. Let's catch up with Meghna on Young Turks today. I, uh, the first thing that I did is uh, I named the company and I uh, uh, got printed brochures mm -hmm. circulated in schools going myself circulated in school buses around the place yeah. and after I got one inquiry which of course I converted into a client at a bare minimum of about 1500 rupees in which I gave the music I did the games I did some decor mm -hmm. uh, just with an intention of getting more parties out of that that party was a hit and thereafter i got more parties from the same client okay you know more and all the guests that had come for the party uh, wherein uh, i just had one staff member i had a small place in my house where i stocked a few things mm. and uh, i had a vehicle so i used to uh, get all the uh, stuff together so you were a one man army basically absolutely drive the vehicle myself go do the decor right. uh, host the party uh, wind up get back and again take the stuff but you're doing parties for what? 200 people at a time? 200 probably could be the minimum number. Mm -hmm. Yes, about 1,000 as well, 2,000 as well. What's the biggest that you've ever done? About 2,500. 2,500 people. people. And this yes. is a birthday party a birthday for a child. Party. Yes. <laughs> okay, the how old is the child? One year old who was <laughs> really sleeping in the back. For Meghna, each party is a brand new experience and the ideas keep flowing carefully planned out themes which cater to the interest of her clients. The children's birthday parties remain her main interest, averaging about 40 parties per month. She's now moved into planning corporate events, corporate picnics and is even looking at cashing in on the Indian marriage industry. Her client list includes not only celebrity sons and daughters, but companies like TCS, BPCL and IMAX who depend on Meghna to make parties a smash hit. At the list of the clients that you've sort of been dealing with a lot of film personalities yes. a lot of tv stars etc yeah. so is that the sort of clientele uh, that you go after in bombay or is it widespread no it's at a widespread it could be you know, a normal family a middle class family and it could even be a film star could be a businessman so it we cater to all sorts of parties so it's not really one segment that we're mm. looking into so tell me what what goes into it because you know some when you hear party organizing you think what's the big deal you know get a cake together and get some music together but it's really not just that it's a I mean you've, you've actually got to do art direction and so on and so forth. Absolutely it's on a large scale now there are a lot of minute details uh, which we have to look into starting mm. right from the theme that the kid likes so we have to actually besides the parents we have to speak to the kid also you know mm. get uh, whatever is there in his or her mind and actually create, create a life picture on the mm. spot and uh, then there's a lot of decor to be done a lot of setups a lot of uh, music that the kids like uh, the lights light effects that enhance the decor uh, return gives the cake is also as per the theme the mm. invitation cards mm. and so on and so forth so if to plan a party typically how much advance notice do you need and how long does the entire process take uh, there are clients who really want to be organized so it could even be a month prior could be a week prior we could even organize a party in a day mm -hmm. so you've tied anyway. up with a whole host of vendors somebody who provides you with the yes. maybe the food or somebody who does the cakes for you somebody Absolutely. who does the music for you somebody who does the lights for you so you've got sort of a network in place Absolutely. and you just have to make a call and get them all together Absolutely. most of it like the sound lights uh, the decor belongs to us so we have like an in-house production team but something like compares the cake we have people who do it for us mm -hmm. so what are the crazy demands that a client has made and uh, you know what are the sort of things that that last minute somebody's asked you to change and you know you've had to scurry around to get everything organized oh yes uh, there are people who ask for foreign acts you know so we've actually uh, got people from uh, foreign countries to do shows you know for like a kids birthday for party. a kids party yeah and how how much do how much of negotiation takes place and how much of give and take actually happens I mean do the clients uh, listen to what you have to say if you have a point of view or do you have to listen to exactly what they want no to most do? of them they ask for our ideas so they always listen to what we have to say but a few of them yeah they know exactly what they want and it goes accordingly but you're then. moving out now of 
just the kid party segment you're looking at doing weddings you're looking at doing corporate events what kind of success have you met with that and and uh, how much of your focus is now going to move towards that well corporate events I've already done lots I work with TCS Tata Consultancy Services we do all their picnics we do all their events so we do their picnics for about 3,000 people since about three years we're doing the picnics as well we with uh, we did a lot, lot of events for IMAX Ad Labs a lot of events for BPCL their Diwali's their gatherings their Christmases that's again for adults that we do so we've already got into that segment mm. uh, but what that the really differences between organizing a party for kids and one for adults because from the sound of it it's pretty <laughs> much the same thing <laughs> yes kids parties are definitely more interesting very yeah. interesting yes there are a lot of minute details adults are really sure of what they want so we we kind of go with that link but kids there are a lot of minute details yeah yes more interesting I think kids parties are concerned what kind of how in-depth is the research to actually get the theme to to be as real uh, as possible well every day we have to be in touch with every possible cartoon we can't be really blank when the kid names a cartoon though at times I do go blank because they are really quick mm. <laughs> but yes we have to update ourselves with every every particular thing that the kids like everything that we have in the party will go as per the theme starting right from the shows mm. so we got kind, of, kind of innovate we kind of train people to do particular shows for the particular theme so you've been in the business for a long time already yes. where do you see yourself headed five years down the line I see it a big party planet mm -hmm. big big birthday party planet big corporate party planet and a big wedding planet okay we wish you the very best of luck and we hope that you continue to do very, very well with all that you do. And uh, thank you. thanks very much, Thank you very much. for joining us on Young Turks today. There, we'll take a quick commercial break.